laser toys and uh, we're going to show off the new mini laser. We're going to do a quick build on it and it really is a fast build. You won't believe how quick this is. Um, it's going to come on a sheet just like this and uh, you're going to have to cut everything out. So you've got uh, everything all cut out and there's just a few tabs on here and just get them all cut out. They're, they're on the board here and they're you'll see them they're very obvious and once you get them all cut out which I've cut a bunch of these out already then just pop everything through and uh, find out if there's a tab you missed like I just did and just get it out and we should have everything out of there and if you want to save this for extra pieces later on you can or a little patch up here and there um, anyway so we've got our uh, got our wing here, and it's not cut all the way through. So you're going to have to do the trick where you you bevel the edge, and I just use an exacto knife. You can use a razor blade or whatever, and I just use a steady hand and come up through there. You can use a straight edge, and if you do cut through, um, don't worry about it. You can patch it up with a little bit of glue later. But um, let's get this cut out. And I kind of, I know I'm cutting toward myself, so be very careful when you do that. Um, and everything is looking good here. Okay, you should have enough control so that you're about 30 degrees down. Um, this is your wing, obviously. Hey, there's a few extra pieces here. I don't know if you realize it or not, but you get a, you get a nice little stand. For your plane and uh, just that these tabs go in there you glue them and then you've got a nice little stand we'll show you that at the very end uh, how to make that up um, this is your fuselage so you can glue that together that's just going to take uh, just go around the outside and go all the way around just do like the perimeter okay and too messy like I did. Um, then glue the two halves together just to line them up and then push them together. I'm on a flat surface so you got a nice straight fuselage and then press them down let that cool. Um, another thing that's really kind of neat I don't I'm gonna do it around the whole plane but you can actually push keep a little bead in front of your gun and go all the way around. On both sides. This kind of seals the corner. And you can do it on your wing and everything. And then after I get done, I pinch. Make sure there's not glue on your hands. But I do a little pinch all the way around. It kind of pushes everything together. Makes it a little more narrow and it seals this so it lasts a little bit longer if you get around moisture or something and just do it everywhere while you're while you're putting it together and it works really cool um, all right anyway um, so we've got our the bottom is where the gap is just so you know on both sides um, we're gonna hold this plane this is your cockpit is on top all right to push this in you're just gonna just going to kind of go and in, start in sideways and if you get so far just flip it over and push it in the rest of the way okay and if you need to pinch it just a little bit to get it down in the slots that's okay it makes for a nice fit fits together really nice I'm going to go ahead and glue the top part here and I, I use the push method I push a little bead in front all the time and it, it just makes for a really nice glue joint if you look at it it really works good I love these little Therese glue guns um, all right so we're gonna push this forward and make a nice little bead all the way back that's good make sure everything's down we're gonna do the bottom side now again make sure it goes in the slot if you need to pinch a little bit of material to get it into the slot that's fine and like on this side I'm going to stuff it in there just a little bit using the back edge of my knife okay 
And I'm going to glue this real quick. And while it's still hot, I'm going to glue the sides on. Okay, these are extra reinforcements that go on to actually hold the battery in. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to line it up with the slot and stick it on there. Okay. And make that slot really nice. If you notice, it's a little bit shorter. That's on purpose. So, uh, again, make sure you're gluing the right side. And we're going to get it on there pretty quick while that glue is still soft. Alright, and then make sure it lines up nice and squeeze it together. Okay. And kind of make sure everything's square and lined up good. Okay. And that looks really good. That'll be fine. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the outside on the reinforcement here. Okay. That's pretty much it there. Then we're going to put the rudders in. They just slide in all the way forward. And you'll see the slot lines up. Uh, underneath so it's a cradle for your servo and then make sure everything looks square and then push a little bit of glue and to hold your hold your rudders in to the bottom and the top both and you can see this is a quick build it's just an amazing little plane and I think I think you're going to enjoy flying it too. All right, so perfect. We're going to push a little glue in there. And then make sure everything's square. Okay. All right, make sure you're, you're from the back, everything's straight across and everything's square. And you just about have the whole thing built here, if you notice. It's like such a quick build. I'm going to seal this. And I'm going to do that like all the way around. Do the little pinch method here. And it holds everything together and kind of seals that edge. Works out really good. Okay, we have just used all of our parts. That's pretty incredible. Now next thing we're going to do, I pre-glued this. I have a I have CA in the mount. The mount is going to go on the end and it's just going to fit on there and what we're going to do, we're going to glue down the back side here, a little bit of glue, make it thick, then glue almost up to the, the tab, where the tab goes through and while you're here just glue around the tab and that'll be fine. Then this is going to press right on there just kind of center it so you see the center line of the two fuselage halves and the hole. And that's basically it. Now when you screw, you want to see your screw holes for your motor on each side. And if it's not lined up, just move it over just a little bit. Make sure you can see the holes on both sides of the, the fuselage. So you got your, you're only going to use two holes on this motor mount. And that's it. I'm going to glue around the motor mount on the bottom just to make sure it's in there really good. And okay, you are ready to mount your hardware. I mean, this is such an easy build. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, so here's one that's built up. You drop your servos in, use your linkage stoppers, put your control horns on the back. And when you put them in, just make sure, like, they're both set the same. You can see there's a little angle there that's going to hit your fuselage. That's as much control as you need on both of these. Just make sure they're both the same. Okay, so you got the same amount of control on both sides. And you want them in the same position, so just double check those when you put them in. When you mount your electronics, your uh, your receiver goes right behind the uh, the bottom part of the fus fuselage. Hook everything in. Put a little drop of glue down on your ESC. Um, route everything. I wire tie everything. 
I solder the wires for the motor, check the direction, and don't forget you're using a standard prop, so that you're using a counterclockwise motor we give you in the kit, and that way your nut won't unscrew if your prop hits the ground when you come in. Alright, set your controls so that when your when when your uh, arms are straight up, you're flat on the back. So when your arms are at 90 degrees, those should be flat. Now these are just slightly off, but that's going to be okay. Just center them with your radio. 12 amp ESC, 1806 motor, eight and a half gram servos. You're ready to fly. Up here, you're going to put a 450. You can even go to a two cell on here. I think I have a 450 around here somewhere, but it's going to slide right in that slot in the front. So we've got you know, here is a 450 two cell, and it's going to the two cell is going to go toward the back. We've put a three cell in here, so it's a little stretched out. But your battery will go right in there like that. Three cell will fit in there perfect. And you are ready to fly. We'll, we'll go to the flight video next.